here today because I'm going to do a few updates to the Airstream, one of which will probably be the most important update, and that's going to be a tire monitoring system. The other thing that's been very handy on past trailers is the Topeka propane monitoring system. It was very handy just to know the levels, so I'm going to put those on this trailer today as well. It's the older system. I've had it for a while. They do have an updated, the pro version, I believe. The other thing that I discovered about this trailer is the shower. The shower is just a nightmare. There's an outdoor shower that comes on these trailers. It's an awesome thing to have. I love it. Um, or at least I thought I loved it. First thing that I did not like about it was it had this ridiculous lock on it. I had to get the key every time I wanted to go into the outdoor shower. So here's the outdoor shower. And this was a key. So I replaced it with this one. I got this off Amazon. I forget how much it was, but I'll put a link below. But now it doesn't require a key. It's just a simple twist and close and I can get into it anytime I want the other thing is this ridiculous hose you can use it but the white hose is stiff the water pressure is terrible and it's just as you can see difficult to maneuver with oh look I just broke off so it's it's just clumsy so it's got this button on the side here to turn off the water and then stop the water. The wand itself is okay, I guess. This is a little stiff, but it doesn't have a whole lot of length. This right here is kind of clumsy as I was trying to push it with one hand. It's kind of stiff and hard to maneuver. Um, it's working pretty good now. I guess maybe I'm working it in a little bit, but I don't think the water pressure is all that great either. So it's just a little clumsy and I don't know. It's, I don't think it's the best. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to replace it. I'm going to replace it with this quick connect. What's nice about the quick connect is this hose here will push in, be in place, and then I've got all this length of hose, which is going to be able to use a normal, a normal gun with all different flat shower, cone, soaker, angle, all these different spray settings. So I think this is going to be a much better update. So the first thing I need to do is I need to remove this faucet connection. And it's really, really easy. It requires going inside and removing the screws from the back. Now on the 22FB, there's a panel, and I'm gonna go show that to you right now. But under that panel is where the connections are. This is gonna be a very super easy modification to this trailer, and I think it's gonna pay back dividends. So let's go inside, and I'll show you where the connections are, and we'll get those removed now. All right, so inside this closet is this panel right here. And underneath this panel is the hot and cold connections. All you need to do is unscrew this right here. The faucet will fall out on the other side. You slip in the new one and screw it back in. It's as easy as that. I've got a towel just in case there's a little bit of water in the lines. Disconnect the cold. Disconnect the hot. And then there's these these plastic nuts who kind of hold it in place. As soon as these nuts come free, you can see it's starting to fall through already. It's going to fall through on the other side. And there you go. Now I think the tricky part is gonna get the, it's getting the new one to stay in place. So here you go. Here's the old one, it fell out the other side. This is no longer needed. <clears throat> and now we're gonna insert this one and tighten it in on the other side. Let's go back inside tiptoe in the trailer so we don't shake it around too much because I don't want it to fall out and then back inside all right I got the other side I screw the holding nuts back in place like that and like this boom and we reconnect the water Take out the towel, put the panel back in. 
All right, now we're all done on the inside. The only thing left to do now is test it out. Ooh, look at that. Cold and hot. I'm gonna put it on shower, because that's what this is, the outdoor shower. This is nothing but hot water right here. That's a lot more pressure than it was before. And then if I want, I got the shooting power. Takes a few seconds for the hot to come through. The on-demand hot water heater is coming. I can hear it running right now. It's starting to get warm. That is the one drag about the on-demand. It does take a little bit for it to, there it comes. A lot of people complain about the on-demand taking so long and you fill up your gray tank because you're waiting for the hot to come. So, you know, you're dropping a couple of gallons waiting for the hot water to start. But with the outdoor shower, you're not filling up your gray tank. In any event, I think it's a successful upgrade. And then when I'm done, turn off the water. Empty out the hose before you disconnect and you'll make less of a mess. But now, you lock it back up, and there you go. See that? It only took probably less than five minutes if I wasn't recording. And that's an easy upgrade, and I'm sure, and I guarantee you'll be much happier. Now I'll just go store this with the rest of my water hoses, and we're good to go. So the second easiest, even easier than the first one, Modification I'm going to do, or addition to the Airstream, is adding these Mopeka propane sensors. They have a magnet on the bottom, you just stick it to the bottom of the tank and use the app to show you the levels. I've marked them left and right, so when I look at my phone I can actually know which one's left and right. Just put it right dead center. As simple as that you can see the levels we've been using these tanks for a while so I was curious as to how much gas I've used over the last few trips we've taken and as you can see I've got 51% on the right and the uh, left one is at 98% which essentially is full but that is gonna tell me without a shadow of a doubt how much gas I have pretty much at all times now they do run on batteries and I did have to replace the batteries they're little button batteries but again um, when they're working and when you're out camping, this is invaluable. So this is another easy way to monitor your propane tanks. And it didn't take me that long, it didn't take me that long at all. So boom, Mopeka propane tank monitor system, something like that. I'll leave all the links below. All right, so let's talk about the tire pressure monitoring system that I decided to go with. I watched a lot of videos, I've done a lot of research, and the one that had, in my opinion, some of the best reviews was the TST 507 tire monitoring system. And I bought it off Amazon, but it was shipped by Techno RV. You can go to their website directly, Techno RV, and order this, purchase this if you'd like. So I sat here for a while <laughs> and I read the instructions because it was not very intuitive. My Airstream is only a single axle, so I only needed two sensor caps. So that's what I purchased, the two sensor caps. And I followed the instructions trying to pair them with this, this monitor. Um, there's a lot of button pushing. The instructions um, are all written out pretty clearly but I will admit that I went back and I watched a couple videos on YouTube on how to program this thing um, the pressure did not show up right away but as I was reading and watching videos the pressure decided to pop on the screen so this thing is now working so let me show you this is your cap and I've got two of them and you have to pair them to this display 
Uh, one of the things I don't like is when you hold the set button, that's when it goes into the, the different features of setting the high pressure uh, alarm, the low pressure alarm, the learning modes and all the different things. Um, down below here, it's written in red and I had a hard time reading that. In fact, I didn't even know it was there for a good part of this setup because <laughs> it's red and I just couldn't see it very well. Um, if you scroll through it, there's low pressure, high pressure. Um, I can't see what that says. Eventually you get to learn mode. Um, but this is what I went through. And then the back button, of course, to go back to your tires. I am not going to sit here and explain to you how I did it, but I wanted to let you know that I went through this and it took me about 30 minutes to read through the book and sort of figure it out. Now, if you look at the book, you can see how it's displayed in red. I can't see that very clearly on the monitor, but I did manage to get it set up. So now this thing is set up. So this was the third add on to my Airstream today. Of the three, this was the longest, most involved, probably the most difficult for me, but is the most important add-on that I'm probably ever going to make on this trailer. Due to the fact that I only have one axle, I don't have a second tire in case I blow one. So it's very important to me that I monitor my tire's pressure and temperature, hopefully predict if there's even gonna be a slow leak or a problem before I have a blowout. And there's also nothing more important to inspect your tires, make sure they look good, there's no bulging, there's no flat spots, and it's not wearing uneven. At every rest stop, gas station, and before and after your trips, check your tires, look them over, make sure they're in good condition. But I do recommend getting one of these. It took me a while to get one. I did go for a while without one. Um, luckily, I never had a problem. But this is gonna ensure a little bit more, maybe I won't have a problem in the future. So. This is the one I went with, the TST 507. They're installed. You can see it scrolling through right now. Um, right now it's 70 degrees and 67 PSI. My tires are rated for 80 degrees cold, so I need air. And the other one's 67. So I need to pump these up to 80 pounds of pressure. So they, it's been sitting for a while. So I need to fill the air in these um, and before we go on our next trip in a couple weeks. I'm going to do just that, but this is my tire monitoring system. Anyway, those are my three modifications today on my 2022 Airstream FB Caravel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned anything, please subscribe below. If you got any comments, please comment below. Um, but anyway, that's it. Please subscribe to my channel. We're going on a trip in a couple weeks. We're going to go down to Hilton Head, South Carolina. Should be a lot of fun. It's the 4th of July weekend. And these modifications are going to ensure our safety and functionality and they were very easy to do anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video bye